Well, the issue is, is are they going to be sustained? Uh, are they happy about getting huge tax cuts? I'm sure they are. As you know, 83 percent of the $1.5 trillion in, in deficits uh, will be going to the top 1 percent in America and 17 percent to everybody else. So uh, obviously there are people who are very happy about this. And uh, it appears that it's going to have some uh, positive effect uh, immediately. But what we are really concerned about is the long-term effect of this, uh, the skewing of benefits to the uh, wealthiest uh, in America, the fact that uh, Medicare is going to be exposed to a $25 billion cut next year and that 13 million Americans are going to lose health care. So uh, we think there are going to be a, a lot of very negative effects of this tax bill uh, going to undermine the ability of the United States uh, to fund its priorities. Uh, uh, so that, yes, there are short-term benefits, apparently, uh, and that's not surprising. But uh, what we've seen uh, is the long-term uh, downside of these tax cuts, whether they were in 81 or in 01 and 03, uh, they didn't work out for our economy. Right. Congressman, it, it, it gets very complicated very quickly. Um, yeah. Becky and Joe and I were talking earlier. Joe, Joe was asking me whether uh, today Democrats have to effectively root against the economy, root against the market, uh, if you will, over the next year or two as it may go up, um, given, given what you're talking about. How do you think about that? Well, as I say, I've been here for some period of time, and I've seen uh, the downturn of uh, what can be short-term uh, stimulus, uh, but long-term uh, adverse impacts, both in terms of the uh, deficit uh, that is created and uh, the uh, stress to the economy. As I said yesterday on the floor of the House, as they were talking about their tax cuts, much of the rhetoric was very much like we heard in 01 and 03. And what right. did we end up with at the end of uh, uh, the, the Bush administration, right. the worst economy we've seen? Mm -hmm. So hopefully, uh, I don't want to wish against the right. economy. And I want to see the, employees doing well and our country doing well. Leader, but I think this were, was an irresponsible uh, act. Yeah. Leader, those, were, uh, those weren't corporate tax cuts uh, for Bush. This, the, the rationale of trying to get the, the U.S. Um, corporate sector more competitive with, with some of the, the tax rates around the world, I mean, even Democrats yes. in the past have, have, have signed on for that. And, and we're for that. Okay. Uh, we, we, we should have, uh, as you know, President Obama uh, in the State of Union some three years ago said we needed to bring the corporate tax rate down so that it would be competitive with the rest of the world. We think that's uh, uh, correct. We would have supported that. As you know, Joe, this was a totally partisan bill. Uh, and unlike the 86 bill, which was a bipartisan bill and was paid for, uh, this was paid for all with deficit spending, which we think will have ultimately right. a, a downturn on the economy. Uh, uh, but yes, we, are, we could have worked on and we support, uh, in many respects, bringing the corporate rate down so that we're competitive with the rest of the world. That's a good thing. When you use the 8317 number, um, I mean, by definition, when the, the main part of the of the act is is based on lowering the corporate tax rate, are you throwing that the 1% or the, so the corporations are, are part of the 1% benefiting? Is that how you're doing? Because I've seen figures where if you take out the corporate side of things, the middle class shares a much better uh, part of, of the tax cuts, if you if you exclude the so, to, but you know what I mean. If you're just going to no, say, look, if you're going to say 83 percent, and, and most of that is the corporate tax, of which you agree is something we should try to do. Yeah. But I don't know if that it just sort of the, 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 you know it, it's apples and oranges kind of. Well, thing. it may be, Joe. But the point that we make is uh, yesterday, uh, Chairman Brady and Paul Ryan, when we initially passed the bill through the House, what they talk about? They talked about the. Average family making right. 59,004 well, people. Yeah. They were the corporate people getting the money. Corporate tax cuts aren't popular. That's never yeah. going to be. You know, it's like cutting it's, corporate taxes. <laughs> Even though it might be something that you think we ought to do, it's never going to be. It's never going to poll greater than probably 30 well, percent. I'm, I'm not, well, the, the bill doesn't poll very well, as, as you know. Right. Uh, uh, only a third of the people think this bill is going to help them or help our country. Right. Uh, so that it d doesn't poll well. We don't think it's going to poll well. But the point is uh, that if you're selling a bill, for the struggling people uh, uh, who are working day to day and week to week uh, paychecks, uh, and then you give 83 uh, percent of the benefits not to them, uh, it's hard to just argue that this is what this bill is about. It's not about yeah. that. Yes, you're right. Bringing the corporate rate down, yeah, being competitive with the rest of the world, Definitely. can have a long-term benefit on, on the creation of jobs. Uh, but I think it's a fair figure uh, when you hear this constant discussion about how this is for the 
uh, right. struggling working you, people of the country. Have you seen the, the, those numbers on, on the individual mandate? I get that too. And, and so the 13 million that lose insurance are going to decide not, not to buy it because they don't have to pay the penalty anymore. But you've seen that. And a, but you've seen that figure that, that the people that pay the penalty uh, for the vast majority, 80 percent, 80 make less than 50000 a year. And here they are pay, paying a tax uh, on, on not getting health insurance. So that was just, des that's just designed the wrong you, way, isn't well, it? Well, you know what, uh, Joe, this was a Heritage Foundation idea, which was everybody needed to take personal responsibility and they needed to have insurance for themselves. And the Massachusetts model, which was applied in the ACA, was that Look, if you, if you can't, you need to have insurance because everybody needs to be covered so you're not passing the expense along to somebody else. But if you right. can't afford it, we'll help you. That was the premise. Uh, and the 13 million people, uh, many of them are going to say, look, I'm not going to go. Why? Because I'm healthy, I'm young. Right. And what's that going to do to the premiums of everybody else? It's going to raise it because the risk pool will be more expensive. That's mm -hmm. the point. Uh, and the whole point of uh, the mandate was to... Uh, sort of like car insurance. If it were only the reckless people that drove, uh, boy, you couldn't afford your car insurance. Uh, but it, because the risk is spread and most of us don't have uh, accidents, uh, it brings down the cost to an affordable level for us. The right. same no, principle I applied. Right. No, I understand. It just yeah. seems like there's a better way. There's unintended consequences. Well, the way frankly, that Joe, yeah. let me say that there was a better way if we would have come together for the last month last uh, 11 months and worked in a bipartisan way, uh, I think we could have come up with some really good uh, uh, improvements to the Affordable Care Act, but that was never the intention of the Republicans, uh, either on taxes, which was, uh, this is the most partisan bill, secret bill, non-transparent bill, rushed to, to judgment uh, in stark contrast to the 86 tax reform bill, where we had uh, hearings and witnesses, over 450 witnesses, and a bipartisan effort between President Reagan and Tip O'Neill and Rosinkowski and Packwood. That didn't happen here. I think we're going to find out uh, as the weeks go by that this bill is a very flawed bill, uh, not only in, in its substance, but in its specifics. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.